Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Raglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Stephen Scheinman, who is the President and Dean of the Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine and Geisinger's Chief Academic Officer and Executive Vice President. So you wear a lot of different hats, and I'd love to start off by asking you how you got interested in in medicine and then uh, specifically nephrology uh, to start. Well, I was a relative latecomer to medicine. I uh, I entered medical school as a philosophy major, convinced I was going to be a college professor. But uh, I got turned on for the first time to science in college Um, and uh, uh, excited by the uh, potential that I thought medicine offered for a career uh, that would span uh, academics as well as uh, service um, and research. Uh, In medical school, uh, I was excited by physiology. I was excited by um, uh, many aspect, clinical aspects of nephrology, but also the science of it. So I went into internal medicine and then uh, nephrology, and uh, uh, I'm very um, uh, pleased that uh, my view of medicine turned out to be correct. It uh, was a remarkable opportunity to, uh, to do research and be deeply involved uh, in science that is directly relevant to the welfare of patients. What advice would you give to someone considering a career in healthcare or already on their pursuit? And then anything else uh, to wrap up, anything else that you'd like to share that that I haven't gotten to? I often say, and I'm sure students in in all professions have heard this, despite the woes and the headaches that you may hear from people uh, have been in the profession for a long time and are unhappy with changes, there's never been a more exciting time to enter healthcare. Uh, there have never been as many tools at the disposal of health professionals as we've got now. Uh, and uh, we can only try to imagine what tools will be made available over the, over the coming decades. Um, change is challenging, but you've got to just acknowledge that change is, the only, is going to be the only constant. Uh, change is exciting. And uh, if you enter the field acknowledging that uh, things are going to change because we need to address uh, the changing needs presented by things like COVID and the changing opportunities presented by, um, by new uh, tools and techniques and medical knowledge and genomic information, then change becomes exciting and you can be a leader in that change. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.